You are now tuned in to My Skin Is My Sin on Blog Talk Radio. From goons to gods, we welcome everyone. We only have one rule. Uh, one rule. And that's be respectful. Let's be respectful. You are now tuned in to My Skin Is My Sin on Blog Talk Radio. From goons to gods, we welcome everyone. We only have one rule. And that's be respectful. Call us next week, man. No doubt, no doubt, man, and, and, and definitely shout out to the family, liberationmindedmedia.net, that is Black Eyed Stand, Do The Knowledge Radio, The Rundown with Renee, and My Skin Is My Sin, oh, 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 and don't forget to share the show, man, if you check it out today, or if you check it out next week, or if you check it out in a thousand years, and if you are that motherfucker that digs us up in a thousand years, you are the most phenomenal individual to ever walk the galaxy for digging up this greatness and still share our shit, man. Shout out to you. Don't forget to check out the website, mbroshell.com, designsbymonet.com, and myskinismysin.net.
Scotty Pippin, 33 bitches, swag drippin', shoes Italian, so the jitchin', I'm money mitchin', did I mention I'm on a mission, moon walkin' in the rain, Mike and Bibbins, splash walk in through the mall, splash splash on the drip drip, 90s baby I ain't done yet, pull off in the foreign ring, fat nigga watch her rob me, bad bitches wanna rob me, All I wanted was a she So to do what I please She all on her knees Yeah Got that <laughs> What you know about that call? That your day one just check. And them tears start to fall. And your palms start to sweat. Now you loading up that Glock. And you sliding through them blocks. And you ain't letting up. Until you make a hard stop. What you know about that call? That your day one just check. Then them tears start to fall. Then your palms start to sweat. Now you loading up that Glock. And you sliding through them blocks. And you ain't letting up. Until you make a hard stop. Let's start from the beginning. School. I had to look up the villains. Cause yeah. the role models was missing. Yeah. You talk what I'm living. Br brothers and daddy in prison. Damn. Grew up a house full of Damn. women, so I didn't listen. Family had thought I was tripping. I was Changing my way, they was wishing. Found out I was gifted. Put all that pain in the booth. Let the beat drop, then I rip it. Revenge, ambition. I, I know it might take a minute. I'm not gonna stop till it's finished. I come from the trenches. Nothing was free, it was given. You had to get up and get yeah. it. Your life, I ended. Walk up and do your ass vicious. And I'm not yeah. leaving no winners. Better match your own business. Sticking your nose up in mine. Or be the last talent you Back in high school, I was ditching, yeah. skipping practice to fuck on some bitches. Man. I swear I didn't think I would finish. No, but when God got a plan, ain't no quitting. We got Glocks and them clips real extended. Real extended. We ain't high speed, Bell, I hop in fences. To the beef and you want some attention. What? Don't go tell when the murders get senseless. What you know about that call? That your day one just check. And them tears start to fall. And your palms start to sweat. Now you loading up that Glock. And you sliding through them blocks. And you ain't letting up. Until you make a hard stop. What you know about that call? That your day one just check. Then them tears start to fall. Then your palms start to sweat. Now you loading up that Glock. And you sliding through them blocks. And you ain't letting up. Until you make a hard stop. I shed them tears, wishing that my homie lived. Went crazy, fucked up the clear. I hopped up in traffic, switching lanes, and switching gears. Think about who I'ma kill. My man in the rage, positive thoughts can delay. Can't think straight because of this pain. I don't give a fuck about your age. You out there, shots to your brain. They wanna block, give me A. They put my little bro on a button. They put my little bro on the news. They put my little bro on a shirt. I swear that shit hurt. Now we gotta make him feel worse. No, you can't loaf in these streets. We watching them, posting them tweets. Slide through and caught him on feet. No, you cannot outrun this heat. Back on his head, throw him in the back seat. Think about how this should go all right what's good fam this is jobs and you are tuned into another episode of the water cooler i got brother greg in the building yeah. i got sean don in the building what's going on got the weed on my lap what's going on There's nothing wrong with that bro nothing wrong with that and the plug is doing plug shit he'll be in <laughs> He'll be on when he gets on. Let me make sure uh y'all can hear me. Y'all know uh like and shit, man. I, Thursday we had Rashcast on, right? So for like the first three minutes, I think I'm talking. I think I'm live. I'm literally just talking to myself, and nobody can hear. It's normal. <laughs> it, it was fucked. It is normal, unfortunately. But it was fucked up that uh like when he was like hello, hello, and I'm like oh shit. <laughs> All right, do me a favor, fellas, say something right quick. Something right quick. All right, bet we good. 
had to make sure all all the connections was was plugged in and everything was a go um and i'm gonna lead us this flyer up there just for a little bit before we really get into some shit and knights and queens keeping love salute to you and and, and, and you on youtube and youtube what the fuck shout out to marvin that's a good guy man i used to work for him you know, and, Shout out, and, Marvin. Why the fuck is Rome listening but not not in on the call? Like I'm, I'm not getting that one. Try to get in that last one. Don't, don't want niggas to hear him doing calisthenics in the background. I mean, why not? <laughs> man, be proud of that yeah. shit, man. You know, if I was doing calisthenics, if I could do calisthenics, I'd be proud of this shit. And actually, uh, I've been working out a little bit. You know, I got to go to my little cardiac rehab th- a couple of times. Well, now that I'm working, it's supposed to be three times a week, but I get there when I can get there. But I actually, you know, get on the treadmill, do a little workout, get on the bike, get, do a little workout. You know, so I, you know, I, it's it's a thousand percent more than what I used to do. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that's definitely right. better than doing nothing. It's a, a a tick above doing nothing, but again, you know, it is, eh, it is what it is, man. It's it's hard unlazying yourself. <laughs> Talk about that's a fact. You know, and I've been lazy as far as working out. Like I, there was no workout <laughs> routine for me. I've been lazy for fucking my whole life. I've never worked out. Never wanted to lift no weights. Never wanted to run. Never gave a shit about none of that. Now it's like, uh, <sighs> you old now, nah, buddy. You need to do something if you want to stick around. So. It's getting the old shit, man. It's, it's, it's for the birds, bro. But the alternative is even worse. So what are you going to do? Yeah. How y'all no, no, doing, no, though, man? How's life? Oh, life for me is great. I'm out here in the streets with the family. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to be uh, hitting mute after I talk a lot because, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm out here in the streets. You know what I'm saying? I don't want you to hear, hey, yo. <laughs> hey, hey, that's just your thing, though, bro. You're a man of the people. Yeah. I try to be. You know, nothing wrong with that, man. We proud of you, too, bro. Hey, and if you do uh, happen to tune in, uh, shout out to Karm Dub in the building. Working out is fun. Okay, um, it's not. Just you know, but I will say, like I, I uh, I put on some Fifty Cent, and man, I was just like, like Fifty make you want to work out. Like man, get rich or die trying. <sighs> I'm like man, I'm, I'm let me let me uh, and it's it's really like only old old people in in my uh rehab. So I'm like the youngest cat, and everybody else is like 60 and 70. And this old motherfucker was making me look so bad, bro. Like, I kind of low-key wanted to push him off the uh, treadmill. Like, I'm doing like one and a half miles an hour. And this cat had to be doing like, I don't know, five, ten miles an hour. Like, he was fucking running on the treadmill. I really, I I felt some type of way about that. I'm not even going to lie. At the time, though... Like, I think it was, like, my, my first or second one. And they don't allow you to go so fast because they don't want you to kill yourself. I think I might have tried to... I, I, I might have, like, killed myself on that particular day because he was pissing me off so bad, man. He was... Man, it just, it just you know, my my uh my competitive juice... Yeah, it just came out. And I'm like, man, this dude has got to be 30 years older than me and he is kicking my ass. Shit was embarrassing. I went home pissed. <laughs> I just told that nigga slow down. So you know what I'm saying? I just got it. <laughs> Be considerate. You know what I'm Relax, bro. Hey, yo, shout out to Mark Markel. He said, I need a Melvin Dickey suit. Nah, man, I'm cool on that. <laughs> I'm going to pass on that. You know, ne- next year. You know, maybe maybe next year. <laughs> man, it's problems. Well, you know what? Nah, not with me. I'll be all right. You know, I think she'd be Only like, good whoa. She's like, whoa. You good part of that when you get in the house. Man, tell me about it. <laughs> oh, shout <laughs> out to my cousin too, man. What up, though, Jason? It is a marathon, but I'm closer to the end of the marathon than you are, bro. By a long shot. 
Yeah, it's time to start like walking now. <laughs> no <Man>. more sprinting. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, that was about eight years ago. When you hit forty, it's it's like okay. Let me just slow it down just a little bit. And I swear I wanted to be. Oh, like, I, mean, I just dissed you. All right, so what we got? What we got first, man? Um, and let me see how this will work. Oh, and before we even get into anything, man, um, rest in peace to John Lewis, uh, a legend amongst legends. Um, dude has he put in so much work for black people. Uh, and you don't have to agree with what his goals, but you got to agree that he was willing to die for what he believed in. And he he made a lifetime commitment. So rest in peace, King. You earned you earned it. All right. Uh, let's see who we got next. Andrew Gillum. And I'm trying to go in order too, uh, Sean. I guess he he put us on. He gave gave us a, a whole bunch of topics, so that was pretty. Oh my dope. bad, I'm talking to the air. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm like okay. Oh, Gillum, yeah. Your, your boy is wild. Yeah, he bro. came out. Oh, I mean, he's trying to he's trying to he's trying to uh, apologize and straighten up and tell you that he's on the the clear and arrow now. You know what he said? He had a you know when he lost the uh, election. Uh, you know he just had had a bad route of drinking. You know, and just drinking and, uh, you know, just drinking. Nigga threw his father you know? under the bus. Like, my father was an alcoholic. Uh, you yeah, know, like, yeah. like, he basically using the white politician route. Like, let's be honest. He trying to see if he can be the first brother to successfully come back from some really fucked up shit. Hey, hey how you doing? Uh, how you doing? Now, and, and Carm, yeah, I, 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 I do believe that. <laughs> You know, I think, you know, he's got an alternative lifestyle, put it that way. But the shit that he got caught up in, and I've said it before, that was a fucking setup. Like, he's too seasoned a politician to have that many fuck-ups occur simultaneously. Uh, I mean, that is, you know, well, you know, me, I believe it's a politics, you know, the politics, the politics, and, you, you know. Hey, we got the plug in the building, too. Oh. Oh, yo, peace, peace, peace. Oh, I'm, I'm mute myself. This nigga about to come through with the motherfucking motorbike. <laughs> yeah, but um, like I, I just don't, you know, like, bruh, the whole rehab scenario, man. It's just like if you're gonna do that, man, take ownership and don't try to put that shit on your father, who, who, who is passed away, can ain't even here to defend himself. Like that's that that to me that was the corniest shit that you could do, you know. Um, Hold on. Yeah. We, and we're I, talking about Andrew Gillum. I'd have oh, given him more man. respect if he would if he would have brought up all of it. You know what I'm saying? Like yo, you know, with the with the mess and the, and all that. How you doing, baby? <clears throat> um. Well, he may have Carmen Dub, but in the world of politics, him getting caught, passed out with all that shit around him. And an alternative lifestyle is like a death sentence in politics. Yeah, like I, I mean, I can't believe that he just got away. I mean, just let himself get caught that bad. Like no politician yo, they all, gets caught. That they all bad. do it though. Not saying they, they don't all do it. They they may all do it, but not to that extent, and not getting caught. Yeah, like he they was just set don't up. get caught. He was set up, bro. Why do you yeah. think he was passed yeah. out? Yeah, I mean, they probably done with him. They probably done with him. Like, all right, you know, uh, yeah, get him out of here. Yeah, this, 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 this nigga, this this nigga, this Negro came on too strong. And he was pointing, and he almost got our our, our racist guy out of there. Uh, you know I, what? You know, they saw I mean, I Obama saw in him. I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> what, and it, they, no, nah. <laughs> we're not gonna do that about Obama, man. But no, but but the potential was there for him to be like the next black president, and they like no, bro, we ain't doing that shit. Yeah, I got. It. I, no, no, that, Karm, see, see, Karm, Karm is like he was having an orgy and got caught up. I don't believe that. <laughs> Your man's was drugged and put in a scenario to end his career politically. Mm, yes. 
So you think uh, they just the the the, the, the mess in, in the gayness was just like a <laughs> okay. I mean that's right. every that's everything that a politician can do wrong at one time for a black man in politics. Like he already was living, you know, close to the to the edge as far as being quote unquote exposed in politics. Like I believe that, you know, like he likes men. I believe that part. Yeah. The, but they use that part of it to really put him in a in a in a fucked up position. You know, and I'm not, you know, I don't I don't really care if the man is gay or not. Like that to me, I don't care. I'm just saying that for that particular episode in his life, that shit was rigged. It was set to fuck up. And if you don't believe that, um, hey, you just don't believe. I don't know what to tell you, but from my opinion, I, I and I've watched the cat on CNN. He's a smart guy. You know, being a black man that got that, you know, he was almost the governor of Florida. It's a fucking miracle. So being a brother that's got that far in politics, and they looking at. For some some bigger seats, yeah, you're not you 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 know you're gonna be treading very lightly. You're not gonna you know put yourself meth, bruh. Come on, man. Like brothers ain't even doing meth. Uh, well, I, I, I mean, I don't care he's gay or all, all that stuff, but you know, like if you're a politician, you're supposed to be like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, righteous, they follow us. Or not even righteous, but you you're supposed to be like, yo. I, this is who I am with it, you know what I'm saying? Like type of person. And um, if it is, then you know he he has some stuff he got to work through. Yo, he he's been shunned upon because well, he already he got, got some stuff to work through. And, and how we got yeah. caught? Like they they all follow a certain code, you know what I'm saying? So like the, the like the likelihood of him being caught up like that. I don't think it was just by coincidence. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, it, it is what it is, though, man. You know, like, that's just politics. So, you know, they're going to do anything. No, they did him, whatever it they, takes. They, they, they did him way worse than they normally do, motherfuckers. You know, it usually be a simple DUI or some shit like that. Like, they just, that, that, that was like a death sentence politically. You know, and something's telling me that this guy's gonna. I mean, Mary and Barry got caught smoking crack on TV, nigga. Yeah, but but that bitch set him up. <laughs> yeah, that's a fact. That's what he said. <laughs> I'm saying, but he got caught smoking crack and came back to be the mayor again. That was a black city, though. That's when DC was black. That's was majority black. Yeah, yeah. I got. I, Maybe he can run for city council or some shit. I don't know what I forget what city he's from, but it's possible, man. Let's just, all right. Let's let's what we got next, man. Um, uh, Epstein's girlfriend. What's what's up with her? Oh man, I'm I'm surprised she's still living. And shout out to Sunray. What up though, Australia? I'm surprised she's still living. Uh, she is yo from from my understanding, like she she been cooperating, like. But they're letting um, a judge just let um, some unsealed documents um, get. Uh, she just ordered for some of the documents to be unsealed. So it's about to be public knowledge. Yeah, and like I doubt it. Next week, probably. I think next week. But no, nah, I, I don't it. think she's. I don't think she's going to die. I think that you know that information is going to shock. Like it's going to like shake the world. It's not. It, one of, it's, it's not a little thing. Yeah. It's going to be yeah. huge. It's going to that's like be the, the case, biggest Epstein thing ever. Still be living. Like this, like that rabbit hole is mad deep. It's really deep, bro. I mean, I'm not disputing that part, and that's why I don't think like she'll be dead before that shit hits the fan, and somehow it'll disappear, or the judge will retire. Some some weird shit, I man. It, it, I it, don't think so. I bro, don't think so. Not like this time. whole episode has been like, if you get too close, you die. Like she next, bro. Like she she and she gotta know it. Yo, she got mad leverage. So did Epstein. Got, and where is he? Yeah, uh, yo, I'm just saying, bro. Like. 
They you are not going to let her say one one name because if they say one name, they'll be saying a thousand. She's already said names, and not no, a thousand not. is the number I heard too. She's already right. said names. I'm absolutely certain, it's just, and it's fucked up. I don't want to be like this, time. but I'm absolutely certain it's just a matter of time before she's dead. That may very well be true, but it's also be just a matter of time before, like, because this young ain't did not this. Ain't did nothing but grow legs, you know what I'm saying? So it's yeah. mad people that's hip to it now. Before, I mean, but they've been, they've been doing the, this nasty shit for fucking decades, and that's a fact. never got caught. It's not about to start now. Well, they, yo, listen, we are in the information age, bro. We are in the information age. It's different now. The the timing, it, it was different then. It's different now. We are yeah. we live in the information age. That's true. It's different. It's different now. Karim said Trump wished her well. He is trying to be nice to her because she has evidence on him. If that yeah, was the absolutely. case, he would. She would already be dead. Like I, I don't think she's got evidence on Trump per se, but I think she got Bro. evidence on a lot of his money. Not like like Listen. not his his personal money, but his his donors. And he, you know, like he may. I, I've seen the pictures that they was chummy chummy, but. Dude also was into to broads too, and Trump listen, always man. had a thing for some young chicks. Now, how young? I don't know. Listen, they got video, they got tapes of Trump. Nah, that's a fact. Since who? That's a fact. Where you getting this from? <sighs> yeah, I know what I'm saying. You just gotta pay attention, man. Oh my God! This is. This, yeah, I this believe is, it, man. I believe it. NSA, man, the motherfuckers, they watch everything. They probably you they know, watch, yo, everything. Yo, Epstein, Epstein had his whole everything was bugged. It was a camera in every room. Every room now, had a now camera. That's the crazy it. part, right there. Maxwell allegedly has two tapes with politicians having sex with what having sex with minors. Why the fuck with Maxwell? Yeah. What, 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 Maxwell the singer? No, Ghislaine Maxwell. Oh, 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 the chick, the his girlfriend. Yes. Oh, that's, that's <laughs> <an idiot>. right. <laughs> She's got this nigga talking about pretty <laughs> wings and shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Maxwell, like, Maxwell, like, Maxwell got some other kind of videos. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like, what the like, fuck? Ah, what do you, what do you got to do with anything, man? <laughs> like what? <laughs> uh, oh my goodness! Uh, All right. So, and that that very well me, may be possible and probably it's probable. True. It's, it's yeah. true. I, I'm. You know, it's I'm true. gonna use the allegedly again. However, like she's not gonna live to show those tapes, bro. And listen, man. Now she may have had those tapes, but where's she at now? Didn't she go to jail? There's no proof of her being in jail. I'm pretty sure they removed her from her crib just to get those those tapes, though. There's no mugshot. There's no nothing. There's no proof of her being in jail. I mean, did we get a did we get a mugshot of Roger Stone? I don't think we did. I think we did. I don't think we got a mugshot of Roger Stone. Uh, Epstein Michael Cohen? got a mugshot. Does Epstein have a mugshot? Yeah. What if What if um she she I'm I'm sorry to cut it. But what if she um what if she's like the proxy? You know what I mean? Like she was because she seemed like she was the one being the uh running all the you know she was like the the madam. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. The the, the bottom bitch running all the all of that. So what if like, what if she's the one with all of the na- all the inf- information and all the connections and all that? And she got it so like she got another proxy type setup where they 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 might not touch her. You know what I'm saying? Oh. I don't, you know we can hear you, Ron. <laughs> Mute oh, yourself, bro. It's all right. Um, I just don't want you to be you know saying no shit we don't need to hear. <laughs> uh. You, I, I, I would agree with you. I think that she probably is the brains behind the operation. But again, like, bro, like, it's just y'all think shit about the, you know, man. Like, this is this is a police state. 
at the end of the day. We don't want to admit that shit, but it really is, man. Look and look at this shit. And matter of fact, why we on it? Look at the shit this nigga Trump doing. I mean, if you think about it, like he literally sending in the Gestapo to different right. cities, like to Portland. Talk about sending it to Cleveland and Chicago. You know, like he's sending in the Gestapo that can arrest motherfuckers unilaterally, that can detain you for as long as they fucking they, want to. You fuck around and end up in uh, Guantanamo Bay. Bro, they have no type of jurisdiction whatsoever. No. So all those dudes, they have none. They have no jurisdiction. They're only, um, they only have jurisdiction on federal property. That's it. They're only on federal property, nowhere else. The minute they leave federal property, they have they have no arresting powers, no jurisdiction, no nothing. Yeah, but the they're, problem they're, is that that doesn't make a difference because apparently they're still arresting people. Yeah, I see. Like, what do you, they, they run up on most people. What are most people going to do? They're just going to, okay, I'm, I'm arrested. Especially yeah. black folks. Because we don't want to fuck around and get shot on sight. Yeah. Yeah, they'll run up in the whole country and seize it up just to snatch Rick Saddam. Exactly. You know what I mean? Yes. You know, and, and, and I know Trump's got multiple lawsuits against him um, for rape by minors. I know that. Um, yeah, if she exposes everything, yeah, okay, I agree with you. He'll, he'll go down. But she's not. Like, they're not going to allow a, somebody to expose a sitting president of any malfeasance they will kill everybody that 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 knows about anything and and make it so outside of her the rest of the motherfuckers didn't even exist ever they'll erase their social security numbers their bank accounts the whole nine like 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 if you think this shit is you know like like when they say deep state like they mean that shit You know, and, and I would not, I would really? not doubt it. Bill, Bill Bar dad is connected to Epstein. Uh, that's what Karma said allegedly. And you made again that kind of validates what I'm saying. Like that dude is the highest law enforcement uh, agent in the land, so he has access to everything. So if you think for one second that she's just going to tell on the president. And everybody else, no. And like yeah. Trump wants to expose Bill Clinton, but exposing him is putting himself at risk of being exposed. Absolutely. So that's that's all of them motherfuckers, the gonna, yeah, all of them gonna keep their mouth that's shut they, though. No, they're not. Shit. No, they're not. I, I watch what I tell you. Like shit, gonna be different. You know? I don't think so, bro. I don't. I don't think this like, is going to be no different than any other shit in in this government. Nah. Like yo, think of, think of think of what politics has been for the past going on for past four years, bro. It, it's not going to be the same. Like shit has definitely been different. I will agree with that, but when when it, when it's different, it's been leaning more towards um, a dictatorship. There's no question about that. Like, I, I, That's I, I feel the same way. And like the hallmark of a dictatorship is suppressing any opposition and they will kill you, torture you the whole, the whole time. I'm not disputing any connection between Trump and Epstein at all. I'm not, it's not something I'm even going to argue against. I'm not about to Yo, look it I'm up. Just... I'll just take your word for it. I've seen pictures of the two. I'll believe the worst about Trump because he just seems to me like the worst type of person. However, he's a president, a sitting president. They are under no circumstances going to really allow any proof of him being a pedophile to come out. They just not. They will kill whoever sure. prior to that because they, the way they look at it is it is it. it like, like it's not just the president that looks bad. The whole country, like we voted for a pedophile and convicted yeah, and, be, and convicted a nigga. Never. It's gonna be mad pedophiles revealed. That's what I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, nah. Never. Unfortunately, 
It should be, but I just don't. Uh, I just don't see it. All right, what we got? No, it's, all, it's already. It's already happening. Eh, like who? It's Who's already, been revealed? It's already happening. Hmm. Yeah, but watch out for the day. Watch out for the people. Watch. Watch out for the people in the bands, black people. You know what I'm saying? Man. Hopping out, they can grab Man. you up, and like Drive said, you end up in uh San Juan or Guantanamo Bay. Hey, where the hell is AJ at, man? Did he fall asleep on us? Pause. Yeah, I know it, yeah, his phone is <laughs> he's still on the call. Like, man, I ain't heard from AJ since like he said hello. And that was about Oh, he it. was on. Yeah. Oh all right. He's still on. He's just not saying anything. I think he fell asleep, bro. I'm just saying. <laughs> Oh, what we got next, man? Uh, uh, Derek Chauvin and his wife. Yo, okay, so this clearly is them trying to save <laughs> their assets. Like her divorcing him, like basically immediately, is a clear mm-hmm. move to try to make sure that their shit remains their shit. That's mm-hmm. why she wants the two houses and. She want this, that, and the third, and he is not going to to fight for any of that fight. shit. He's gonna tell her she can have it all. Um, I'm wrong, baby. Blase splee. It's all yours. So when he gets the shit suit out of him, he won't have any assets or anything like that. However, problem is they both just got indicted for tax evasion. <laughs> And I want to say it was nine counts of tax evasion. Yikes. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> so that may hold shit up and preclude that other, you know, like now our ah, Jesus Christ, man. Like, I'm surprised they're going after them like this. I really am. You know, but. Like when you see the video of him murdering, I'm I am I'm really surprised. But when you see the the video of him murdering George Floyd, just the the cold, callous way that he had his hands in his pockets and was just looking like it was just another day for him. Like I don't know if that resonated with other people, like it resonated with me. But man, that that just it was some extra to that shit. But I'm still surprised that, that they have gone this hard at a white cop. I really am. You know? Right. And, and Trump, Trump's son tweeted about Bill Clinton and Epstein and deleted the tweet because his dad was exposed. Again, I am not disputing that Trump and Bill Clinton both had something to do with Epstein. No argument here. I'm going to assume the worst. So I'm going to agree with you on that. That is not my point of contention. My point of contention is is that Epstein's girlfriend will be in a box before any information is actually hits the public. It's unfortunate, but I just don't believe that that woman will be alive for very much longer. And, you know, the, the type of shit you got yourself into, I can't, I won't have any sympathy. I'll tell you that, you know, I won't have anything to do with it. I'm going to tell you that, too. So, 2020 is a year of reveal. Of, of, of reveal. 2020 yo. vision. Twenty, Yo, listen. Bro, yo, and I ain't even no biblical dude but it's literally like revelations you know what I'm saying but not the you know what I'm saying like yo this shit is just crazy bro like yo the government finally admitted that UFOs you know what I'm saying it, it admitted UFOs are from here like it's so much shit that's just coming out that some people already knew but for the for them to start revealing it and letting it, letting it be out let it be known. Shit, it ain't the ain't the the normal norm the our normal ain't normal no more. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's adjusting to a different norm. Man, you ain't so, lied about that. Yeah. So like, yo, I 
I, I believe this, this is going to be different. Like, I think this is going to get revealed because that's all it's been. It's been nothing but a year of, like, truth. Yeah, but some, some you know shit I mean? is not going to change, bro. I just don't see it. Yeah, 2020. And plus, um, in the age of Aquarius, you know what I'm saying, for the people that, Facts. you know, subscribe with that. And then the Aquarius, that's the water bearer. So that's supposed to mean, like, all the truth spilling out. You know what I'm saying? Being Facts. spilled out. You know, it's just, uh... The whole fucking... And I'm an Aquarius. That shit ain't helping me out none this year. You know what? Not because not every not it's a whole bunch of people that gotta get. It's been so much people not knowing shit, or not even having a thirst for knowing. Doing now that things are kind of critical now. People want to look and want to know. The it's some some people it's too much information. It's too much water, and people are drowning. You know what I'm saying? Like you know, um, you know, but some people can't take it, and some people are uh, like. Like Nick Cannon, I don't mean to throw him out there like that. I'm not saying he can't handle it, but I think, like, by him, all right, he said what he said. Um, but I think he, uh, how do I put it? How do I put it? Um, with some of his tweets, he said after it seemed like he kind of, you know, he, you know, when he said, uh, y'all could have a planet, you know what I mean? Like, like it's like, fuck it, I give up. Like y'all, like. Like, you got to understand that, like, it's going to take people a while. Like, people are going to still, like, even though it's 2020 and pieces, a lot of people are now starting to wake up, it's not like motherfuckers are snapping up. You know, it's motherfuckers getting up slow with the slumber. You know what I mean? I mean, but, so like, you, you gotta know, have a patient. Most, most people, man, like, wake yeah. up to what? Wake up to find out how really fucked up shit he is. Most people don't want to, you know, don't. Most people are, are okay in their ignorance. Like, people be like, oh, everybody should wake up. No, everybody shouldn't wake up, man. Some people just can't handle that shit. It'd be too much for them. They fuck around and have a heart attack. You know, like, some people should be ignorant. I'm sorry. And people don't want to hear that shit. But some people should. And, you know, we should know everything about everything. Some shit I really don't want to know. I do want to know if we got aliens in this motherfucker, though. Um, now, the shit with, with Nick Cannon... Like I, I don't understand the whole anti-Semitic. Like just because you're saying black people are are the real Jews, how is that saying anything averse towards the Jewish community of today? It's not. Like if you're taking that as anti-Semitic, please explain that to me. Um, but secondly, like he well, apologized. So like he had to know that saying that was going to come with repercussions. You've been in the game way too long to not know that. I mean, well, like, my thing is, like, to your first question, like, well, to your first point, like, if you just look back at some of the things that Jews, like, the white Jews looked at as anti-Semitic for real. Like, Jay-Z jumped out there and said that, talked about how they built wealth. They looked at that as a, you know what I mean, as a discredit to them. Because at the end of the day, they understand propaganda and they understand how a narrative could be painted on them, so they want to jump in front of it. You can give them a compliment if they feel as though it's going to paint them in a negative manner. They want to jump in front of it. So basically, the answer pretty much to what you're saying is he really didn't say nothing wrong. But according to them, he did because they just want to control the narrative. So that's how they're going to keep doing it for real. Like, even if you tell the truth, if it's not told the way that they want it to be told for real, they're going to say something about it. And they have enough power to do that. They have an understanding of how a stereotype of being paid in a certain way is. That's something mm-hmm. that a lot of groups of racists don't fully understand, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah about, the, uh, about the repercussions. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, I was going to oh, say, I stand yeah. with Nick. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Just, let me just slide this in. I stand with Nick. Only thing uh, I stand like we. Not that I didn't like, but I just was a little disappointed when he said y'all can have a planet. I felt he, he that that was a teachable moment for him to, you know, because right now, like 2020 people, okay, right now he should have took the moment to be a little more teachable and, like you said, explain propaganda, this and that. You know what I mean? And, and cause like you said, he didn't say nothing wrong. He didn't say anything wrong. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But they, they were doing the, they doing the, they doing the, like you said, the propaganda. He should have just took a teachable moment, but he just bowed out. I didn't, I didn't. I don't think he should. I don't think he should have bowed out. Yeah. But yeah, I'm sorry. I don't, think, like, I, 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 don't like, I don't like the way he went out, yo. But I mean, like, you keep it all the way above, like, 
yo, they aren't Semitic people. Like, you have to understand and know who Semitic people are. They are Semitic people, yo. Like, just keeping it all the way real. Like, Jude, like Judaism is a religion. You know what I'm saying? Like, they aren't. So you know what the definition of Semitic is? They aren't Semitic people. You know, they European Jews who practice Judaism. Like, you pra- essentially, like, practice it, but you aren't the people who originated where it came from. And you know what, Carmen, Carmen said that uh, his money was affected and he apologized. He's a weak nigga. Yes, his money was affected. Um, How does that make sense? That, that, I'm not going to oh. say he's a weak nigga, and I'm going to tell you why. How many of our leaders died broke? Every one of them. You, you name me one. Uh, I mean, what did black people Nick do Kennedy. for their families after the fact? What I'm saying is when one of us falls on our sword, the rest of us watch. We don't make sure that they fa- that their family is good. We don't take care of them. We don't do anything. We just criticize them for saying backtracking. We don't Nick do Kennedy anything for the ones who don't. Yes, he does. So it ain't just yeah, it ain't just him. People, though, so. He got to think about like look. You just think about uh, what's the show he had on MTV? Wild and out. Wild and out. How many how many people on that show? Just the teams alone is probably twenty. Yo, but okay. like dependent yep. depending on who they are, like depending on how popular they are on the show. Like some of these dudes is getting forty five. Forty-five thousand a show, you know what I'm saying? Fifty right. grand a show, sixty exactly. grand a show. Now they aren't. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like if you, I mean, like real talk. Honestly, I don't feel as though that Nick is weak. Like it's not that big of a deal. To me. You know what I'm saying? Because like just this Wednesday, we were just talking about Snoop and DMX having them versus Pharrell. Do we just forget that, like, three months ago that this nigga apologized and backtracked because his money was affected? Like, that shit is going to go, that shit is going to pass over in a few months and nobody's going to care. But the people that he is paying their bills for pretty much by giving them jobs is going to be affected for real. You dig what I'm saying? I'm not, I would rather him put money in black people's pockets for real and push people out there so they can see their families and they can extend out and extend out and extend out they're having some bravado so we can prove a point to some niggas online. Like yeah. fuck y'all. Yeah. I'm, I'm just keeping it like fuck and, y'all niggas. And, and, and low key, Carm, um, Ice Cube, you might want to check Dr. Khaled Muhammad's comments about Ice Cube before you keep you give him that whole keeping it real shit. Cause that nigga ran a right, file yeah. of black folks back in the day too. Yeah, that's like you ever seen that clip with Khalid Muhammad? He was talking about a rat attack cat. He was on Ice Cube. Right? You feel what I'm saying? Like Khalid kept that shit the G. Everybody know that, but. Unfortunately, we see how that shit ended up for him. It's well. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, bounced back though. I, I, my um, my my um, my uh, my mother, my actually my my step pops. I was talking with him the other day, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, he was talking about Jay Z, right? And he was like, "Yeah, man, uh, he's Jamaican." So he's like talking about. I was about to start mocking him anyway, but he was uh, talking about how um. You know, people with the Barclays Center and all that, you know, moms and pop stores had to get pushed back because the rates rose and all that, and how that was messed up and all that. And what my mother said, she was like, would you rather some other white dude came in and, and did that, you know, and, and made the money on that, you know what I'm saying? Or would you rather him do that, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And it had me thinking, like, okay, um, he made the deal, he made the money, and he, he's giving back. You know what I mean? And it's better, it is to a degree better off him make, uh, making money off that deal than some random Russian or Italian or, you know, Mark Rubio. Who, who knows? You know, I'm just throwing names out. You know, some guy, you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel not going to give anything back. So I kind of, I'm not going to say Nick is weak. Um, I'm just going to say uh, he's protecting the He's protecting the pocket, you know what I'm saying? Because we we gotta have something like think about the uh the twin towers or you know, the twin towers. When you see it built as big as powerful, but in order to have to, to create that twin towers, you gotta build it brick by brick. So, you know, we gotta we gotta protect some wealth somewhere to you know I don't know. That's all I gotta say. I don't think he weak. You know what I'm saying? Oh, if I anything though I just feel as though, like, if niggas gonna have a problem with the whole situation around Nick, 
it kind of goes to show you for real where niggas' focus really is. Like, because they're more focused on him apologizing instead of him, like, to be perfectly honest, throwing Professor Griff under the bus. Like, and he's been putting it down for 30 years for real. So do you do you really care more about people that's holding the fort down or just some type of non-tangible victory by Nick not apologizing? Which one do you really care more about? You feel mm-hmm. what I'm saying? That's like, because... He could only, that's the only thing niggas wanted him to do. Yeah, stand up for him like I won't do it. My job, I make twelve fifty an hour. Just go and stand up to him. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, like let's be realistic. Like a lot of people don't know what they're gonna do until they're placed in that situation. So when I hear niggas say, "I did this, I did that," it's like, all right, it sounds cool. It do sound cool. You feel what I'm saying? But you've never been in a position like that to make that type of call. You know, or at, at the very least, like, w- w- okay, let's say Nick doesn't apologize and becomes broke. You going to throw that nigga some, you going to cash app him some loot? Are you going to help him if he gets to be hungry or, or he got to go back and work at, at, at Foot Locker or some shit? You know, like, like it's, it's easy. It's, it's just easy to criticize people. And so I tend to. I guess be more favorable and not criticizing if I can, you know, I'm going to look at it like this. Like he said something that had, I had never heard in mainstream before as far as a black man in an interview scenario, maybe on songs, you know, but that's, that's different. They can isolate that and keep that to a quote unquote certain community. Um, but I never heard a brother, especially like Nick Cannon is like a huge crossover cat. Like if, uh, if Cat Williams had said the same fucking thing, it would not have resonated at all. But because he's Nick Cannon and he's got white kids in Beverly Hills and niggas in the Bronx looking at him, it, it, it held a lot more weight, you know? So the fact that he even brought that up. Cause he had to know, man. He's been in the industry way too long to 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 not know how shit was gonna play out. I just don't believe. I, like, okay. I, I don't believe that with him. So I think he knew the that's, apology was coming. The whole thing was 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 he knew. That's why. I, that's why. I don't, like when people say that he, he wanted to throw that out call, Like when, that out when people, people say that. Look. No, no, no. Sure. I, was just, I was just gonna say, you, you think he was throwing it out there for people to like fight on that and, th- and talk about it a little bit? Yeah, I think it was just like it was oh. kind of like putting your putting your feet in the, in the pool, putting your toes in the pool. Like honestly, I think he made an unintentional mistake. You feel it was? I don't think that he intentionally tried to do it. He was just speaking how he felt. Like I just, I don't, I don't think that he either planned it out or thought he was doing something wrong at the same time. You know, because you can do something that can affect somebody else, but if that wasn't your intent, you're going to feel kind of crazy about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like, yeah. yeah. Look who look who he's talking with, too. He, wasn't he talking with Professor Griff? Yeah. So, you know that they so, like Professor Griff? You know what I mean? They came at him before a few times, right? Yeah. And, the, yeah. and that's what yeah. the, yeah. That's the, the why same rabbi that they, he... They he got put out a public enemy for being too pro black. But in the in the same rabbi that was like basically like running the whole you know what I mean press on full court press on public enemy was the same one that Nick Cannon interviewed. Ironically. The same hmm. it was, it's the same dude. Hmm. Like that's crazy. You know what I mean? And the thing was Nick was sitting on that interview for like a whole year as well. You know what I mean? Because it was around the time when he was um doing recordings for the Dr. Sebi uh, documentary. So he was sitting on it, like, because he put out the Tyreek one first, too, and he was sitting on that one because, you know, they all did their little, their parts of the DVD or whatnot, mm-hmm. or the movie that's supposed to come out. That's a good question anyway. Do y'all think that movie's still coming out? I mean, before we even go into that, man, can we just please stop with the they killed Dr. Sebi? He died. I'm sorry. I just, I can't anymore with that. Like, if he was 50 something, I I can understand it. Dude, what was he like, 85, 86 years old, something like that? That's true. I mean, hey, what did they say? I think what he said he died from, uh, like, he was switched up his diet or whatever when he was in prison. 
uh, I think they they were saying that he died from like pneumonia or something, something, something like that. I don't I don't know what it was to be quite honest. Um, yep, yep, cause it, it was pneumonia. I just I just uh, at least that's what the quick Google search comes up with. You know, but yeah, my I thing know. is, it's like like <sighs> because he died I in mean, police custody. He... It, was, it was you know little little shady. I get it, yeah. you know, but at the same time, like he was an older gentleman, and passing away at his age uh, is is a normal occurrence. Not I everything really... is the boogeyman. I'm sorry. Go ahead, bro. No, I just never really put no thought into it until just now. You know what I've I mean? I've heard it a lot, though, man. I'm just telling you. Yeah. I and mean, it's funny. To... Yeah. Nick's kids are I not mean... half white. Like, like Mariah Carey is not white. Mariah Carey herself is mixed. So I guess they would be a quarter white. I don't know how you do that. Um, but she's mixed. I'm just saying. Carmen was like, uh... We defending Nick. He is rich. He knew it was up. I said that part. Um, why well, say anything if you're going to apologize? I'll give you a good example. Um, like there are times in court where a lawyer knows that the opposition is going to object to what he says, but he wants to get that thought into the jury's head anyway. So he'll still say it. Yeah. S- same so same shit. To the jury and they stop him. Oh, so say, oh you're tainting the jury. Exactly, yeah. exactly. You know, now, now as far as Hello, Nick saying that, that white women are better for black men, I've never heard that. And, and if you have that information, please email it to me at jobstown12345 at Yahoo. That's J O B as in baby, S T as in Tom, O W N as in Nancy. The number is 12345 at Yahoo. Because I really would like to see that. I've never heard that one before. I would absolutely like oh. to see that shit. Uh, I don't know. Unless, unless the person's talking about that was an Islam interview, but he, he didn't see that. I don't if he's talking about that interview, I don't think he didn't see nothing like that. But, uh, it, wait a minute. So he interviewed uh, Rizzo Islam? Yeah. Yeah, this was a minute ago. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, cool. it was a minute ago. Yeah, Rizzo on there. Um, yeah, he, yeah, you know, he had Joy the Grew on there not too long ago. Yeah, he was sitting on some banks in the stash. I ain't gonna lie. That's dope. I mean, but, like, my say, but my say going back to the, like, to the apologies, right? Like, he's apologizing. I mean, the reason why black people are upset because we're all saying it's the truth or whatever, right? So technically, it's like, it's not like he told Niggas that's in the know, some mind blowing shit for real, for real. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, I don't. It, it just doesn't make sense to me, like, why people are so pressed about him apologizing if we have all this knowledge and we know how. We because know how that, the that industry plays his game. Ends, I mean, like, if people took that and said, hey, he, he's telling the truth. Oh, or man. let me research yeah. that to see if he's telling it. When I say people, I don't mean black folks. You know, that yeah. would completely up in the the religious system across the planet. You know, now not you know, like if you think about it, like okay, let's let's if the world it, it, it admits that that's the truth, what happens to Israel? What happens to the people that live in Israel? Why isn't that our land? That would be probably one of the biggest, you know. Now you got you got niggas from Philly trying to go to Israel. They got a right to do that, you know. I'm just saying, not 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 just that, but just so many so many financially, so much finances that they that, that the state of Israel has been given over, you know, since its inception. Just everything, like it would just completely change shit up. Nick was in the garden with Farrakhan when he gave his Criterion uh, presentation. He is cool with the NOI. Like, it, yeah, I, 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 look, I'm no Nick Cannonologist. I don't think any of us are, you know. But it's hard for me, you know. I've seen the brother really try. So I, I'd like to get. Why not give the brothers a, the benefit of the doubt, you know? 
Like, okay, yeah, you know, I, I've apologized for some goofy shit over the years because I wanted to keep a job. Not nothing that I felt was going to rip my soul out or anything like that. But there have been some shit where I'm like, okay, I just took an L because I wanted to keep the gig. Period. You know, I don't think he's the first person to do that. Um, first of all, I know Nick Cannon. He is from San Diego. He is a cornball. I know what I'm talking about. Nick said in an interview one month ago that it's better for black men to date male women too. I am not disputing that. I'm saying so send it to better? Me. Yeah. That's that's what she's saying. That's interesting. You know, I am not saying that you are wrong. I am saying please prove that you are right. That's the difference, Karn. Um, and he made what being a cornball ain't got nothing to do with anything. Cause like if if the dude has put out some quality interviews, and you know like people grow, you know like I I just don't. He's a different person than he Cannon was ten no, years ago. I'm not gonna get my Nick Cannon award if that nigga didn't apologize, dog. Like now she's coming in the mail. Like that shit <laughs> affect me in the manner that niggas are going in on it about for real. You know what yeah, I mean? Well, most of this shit don't. It don't affect us, I you mean, know, generally speaking. Niggas want to live vicariously through other people, though, y'all. And I think that's the biggest problem for real. Like, man, why did that nigga apologize? I ain't had to do that. Like, how does that really affect your daily life, period? You dig what I'm saying? Like, it, it doesn't have that much of an effect to be getting in arguments about it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, hmm. name calling, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like, the shit is not that serious. You feel me? Because niggas is ridiculing him like he was like a super duper leader or some shit like that. But if you'd have asked him, is Nick a super duper leader before this whole shit popped up, nobody would say yeah. That you feel true. what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. Nick is just Nick. Y'all trying to crucify y'all trying to crucify him for something that you didn't even play some ass to be perfectly honest. Yeah, all right. I feel you on that one. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right, uh so moving on. I think we have uh expired the Nick Cannon topic. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Y'all watch uh wait a minute, damn. Wait a minute, wait, a minute, wait, a minute. I skipped one. But fuck it. DMX and Snoop. Did y'all check that out? Apparently, I'm the only one on the planet, or at least on the show, that has wa- that watched uh, the that was, and Snoop. That was the best verses yet. I'm not going to say that either. Like, uh, uh, who was it with Little John? I can't remember, but they had a fire versus. And Neo and this songwriter I had never heard of, I want to say his name is Jonte. Jonte Austin. They had a fire ass versus, bruh. But this was a good one. This was Snoop, man. Snoop pissed me the fuck off, though. I'm not even gonna lie, man. You know, and and Kerm, like, if that's the case, because he's saying don't cape for black men to diss black women, then that's every hip hop artist you know. Every one of them. Pick one. Cause they have all called black women bitches, hoes. Tricks. Told them they do degrading shit. I won't say all. Uh, I don't think Will Smith has called a black woman a bitch on 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 a record. So everybody but Will Smith. Just saying, and I'm not. No, no, we're not caping for him. You know, caping is just just blanketly defending everything you do. I'm just saying, like this one. Eh. Anyway. I had Snoop winning, sort of. Like, he should have won. And maybe it, it biased me a little bit because he came out the gate. Like, the first four or five songs was clearly Snoop Dogg. And then he went on this, like, first off, he played No Limit. The whole No Limit catalog should have been off fucking limits. Not a song. Not a once, not an intro, not an interlude. Nothing on No Limit should have been played. Absolutely. I'm sorry. But not sorry. He should have stuck to the chronic, doggy style, and murder was the case, and that's it. And it would have been a clear win for him. 
Like DMX had some good moments. Don't get me wrong. And he had a, you know, he's got some hits, but he too only has two albums to choose from. And Snoop's two albums are two of the best albums ever. And DMX's two albums are not. It should have been an easy victory. Am I the only one seeing that? No, nah, listen, hold on. You do got to give DMX props because what his first three albums went triple platinum. Yeah, like, but only the first two were, you, were dope. You got to, but DMX was, DMX got hits, yo. Like, if, if I'm talking about the, some of the biggest hits of the 2000s was DMX, bro. Like, DMX brought the field back for niggas where they Thames loose and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we, we went through the Bad Boy era and the No Limit era, and then the Def Jam era came back, and DMX was headlining that shit. Like, niggas forget that. Like, he brought the whole field back. Yeah, but DMX so, was never as big as Snoop was. Period. Yo, but see, all right. Okay, all right. Snoop was on death row at his height. He wrote the chronic, and he came out with Doggy Style. You know what I'm saying? He came out before X, but when X came out, Snoop was out too. DMX was a bigger star than Snoop at the time when he was out. DMX had one year, bro. One. No, man. Year. Are you serious? Yes. DMX yes. He put out. No, he, no he put, he, well, I, 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 I give you a year and a half because he put two, two uh, number one albums out within a year's time. And peace to you, Carm. Snoop Enjoy ain't, yourself. Snoop ain't do that. Snoop he didn't ain't do have that. to, bro. Oh, he didn't. He didn't Come have on. to. Like Snoop Doggy came out Style, ninety two, bro. X came out in ninety eight. Doggy Style is better than anything DMX has ever done. Listen, listen. Let's, why don't we go down the track list? All right, you cool with that? All right, let's go down the track list. And see, that's that's the part that all pisses right. me off with Snoop, though. He plays some bullshit. All right, boom. Of course, you had the uh, you had the, the the DMX intro, and you had Snoop play deep cover. I'm not mad if somebody give a I mean, I, I, I couldn't Snoop. Really, I was just nostalgic. You know what I'm saying? I like, I love both of them. So I, well, I, I wouldn't be mad if somebody said uh, Snoop. Because you know it's Snoop, man. you just biased. But, but, but okay. All right. And then second, second, uh, you have What's My Name versus Who Am I? Am I the only one? Apparently, nobody's going to say anything until they think it's DMX. Because Snoop clearly right. won that one. Third, you got Get Out right. Dog, you got Jenna Juice. Really? Is that is that is that what? What do you say, uh, Sean? I, I got. Oh, of course, I'm gonna get at the Snoop. Yeah. Okay. Uh, All right. Now you got a uh, you got a uh, some X shit versus Fuck with Dre. That's another Snoop one. Yo, I don't know. I don't know, I know. that X shit. Yeah, I don't know. You was I got that. I get that the X. I get that the X. Yeah. And that stop being greedy versus two of America's, America's most wanted. I think I get that the X. Uh-huh. Right uh-huh. I gave it the X because uh-huh. it was a feature. Yeah, yeah. I think I get that the X. Okay. okay, my nigga versus down for my niggas. See, that's where the no limit bullshit came in. <laughs> this is what like, I'm like. What the fuck are you doing with this goofy shit, man? Oh, I was so angry, bro. Huh? Yeah, that was that was definitely DMX. The next one was DMX too, if I remember correctly. Oh, what? Yeah. Oh, my bad. I, I can't out for a second. Give me a second. I'm gonna put the picture back. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. All right. Next we are back at One Piece versus Ain't No Fun. Jesus Christ. That's when okay. they brought out the legends. Snoop. That, yeah, Snoop yeah, got yeah, that. That's, that's, that's Snoop. I don't know, man. That's Come on, man. He, that's it. a Leah, my nigga. He had a Leah right there. You, you're being biased, though, bro. All right. Anyway. So we got X don't give it to you versus bitch, please. I think I put X going to give it to you on that one. Man, no, that's All right. We got who we be. Versus G's and Hustlers. <laughs> Wait a minute, was that yeah, that fucking X. Uh, X, X. What song yeah, was you that? You gotta though? get it on the floor. Go ahead. G's and Hustlers. What song was it? 
Dun, dun, dun. This is for the G's of doggy style. This is yeah, for the yeah, yeah. Hustlers. Uh, yeah, I get out. I get out to Snoop. Now back to yeah. the G's. I just, I just had to remember it. That's, that's definitely Snoop. Ah, uh, nah, get bro. It on the flow. Get it, get it on the flow versus the shit in it. Yeah, definitely that's, DMX. That's... You got uh, lay low and fucking with D. Lay low. What these bitches want and beautiful. What these bitches want. That was that was like the that was the first that was the first clear X one for me. Say that again. Um, how's it going down and pump pump? X. Yeah. It's all good. And bitches ain't shit. Bitches ain't shit. Was the, that was yeah, like that might have been the that song close, of the though. night though. It was not. That's close though. It was not. Nigga, even X <laughs> got turned up on that joint. <laughs> <laughs> he got a he got a close one right here. Flipping versus murder was the case. Murder was the case. Flipping. Oh Yo, you know what's God. crazy about both? Like they both true stories. You know what I'm saying? To a to a degree when murder was the case. That's not even close to being true, bro. Like the nigga said he got shot and made a deal with the devil. Yo, but Snoop was really on trial for murder. Yeah, but he didn't get shot, man. Well, I'm all right, so all right, so maybe I said it wrong, man. <laughs> like there's a big difference you know uh but i kind of yeah it, 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 i get what you're saying though it did have some some segments some of validity the truth. to it yeah and yeah. then when he did that song too was pivotal pivotal because i think that was the mtv awards when he did that shit right and man that shit was like man he was on trial at the time mm. like yeah, that shit was wild we got, we got we got niggas done started something and doggy dog world. What you got? Doggy dog. Niggas world. done started something. It's a doggy it. dog hey. world. That is not. It's not better than niggas done started something. Stop it, man. Stop it, bro. What? It's that East Coast portion. bias, man. I went like this, like a portion, bigger like portion. All right. Um, we got four, three, two, one, and I'm loving it. And I, yeah, I love it. Oh, four, three, two, one, easily. Okay. Yo, money power respect. One, yo. Yes, money power respect and PIMP. PIMP. What? I like this mm. song, man. Come on, bro. And it was on Get Rich or Die Trying, like another fucking classic. Okay. We got a Rough Rider mm-hmm. anthem and nothing but a G thing. Nothing but a G thing. Oh, no, my good man. <laughs> Although that was close. And the, the last two, I'll be honest, I got Snoop. I ain't, we got Party Up and Drop It Like It's Hot. Yeah, Drop It Like It's Hot. That's we close, though. That's yeah, so close. close. It is close. And I just like Drop It Like It's Hot. with me. Yeah, Drop um, It Like It's Hot was a classic. Just, just ridiculous. You know, the woman head and they start dropping. You know, I get crazy. <laughs> um, you got where the hood at? And then you got the next episode. Da, 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 da. Yeah, yeah, this next episode. Yeah, you gotta give it to Snoop, man. I got X though. What was what was some of your favorite uh, uh moments uh or or or, or, or quotes? I, I tell you, I got two. Of course, everybody loves Snoop dance, and I ain't gonna bring that up. But when X was like, what he said. Where my bitches? I was like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> now, I will say, though, man, what what it bothered me a little. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, all right. Uh, yeah, because I'm about to be myself. Um, he, and then the other joint, when he was like, yeah, I'm about to go in my bag. So, so I'm about to go in my bag. And then uh, X said, oh, you going in the bag? I'm going in the nigga's pocket. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey, man, I felt bad, man. I thought it was just real inappropriate for Snoop to be smoking and drinking. I just did, man. I know it's that man's crib, and I know he's an adult, and I know X is an adult. But given every all all the problems DMX had over the years, man, it just started up blazing one. I don't know, man. I just kind of felt bad for X. I really did. But I thought it was a dope-ass night. I thought hip-hop really, really, really enjoyed itself because um, it was – one of the few times that you're going to ever see like all of our celebrities and a bunch of regular niggas like myself all hanging out virtually, but hanging out and doing the same shit and enjoying it. You know, so I just thought, you know, and, and at one point they were saying it was 1.7 million people. Mm. That's a I lot. heard 2.7 at one point. It might have been. I don't know. But I, I ain't really get to enjoy it. Like, yo, I was hopping up, I was hopping in out of garbage truck, but I, I, you know what I'm saying? I was in. Man, I was I was in front of the computer the whole time. That shit, I was lit. I was I was at the house like I was at a concert, bro. I am not even gonna lie. Shit was just lit for me. Um, and let me see. Let me ask y'all this. Okay, uh, Keisha Cole versus Ashanti. Who would you have? I got Keisha Cole. I would too, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, I like Keisha, yo, the, 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 my bad, go ahead. She just remind me of Mary J. Blige. Like, she not necessarily. I wouldn't go that far. I didn't but, say um, she is. She reminds me in that, <laughs> in that she she, she been hurt. Me. No, she been. She, you can feel the pain when she sings. That yes. She she definitely she definitely picture, paints a picture and um, of her experiences and the pain in her songs. She definitely does that well. Um, I would say I pick her because like Ashanti got like murder ink joints and she had hits. You know what I'm saying? Like as a solo artist, but like Keisha Cole was always a solo artist. So like yo, Keisha Cole got joints with with backpack Kanye. You know what I'm saying? Like, she got joints. You know what I'm saying? Like, her first album was a classic, for real. Yeah, like, she she had, like, three albums of, like, hits. Damn, man. It's like she got married, man, and just stopped, too. And she divorced. I mean, you know. I wonder what, what, what happened, man. I thought they was, like, the a good couple and shit. I know that's totally off topic, but I did, man. I thought they was a good couple. And low key, I was mad because I'm like, dude, you know, you wasted her time. That could have been me wasting her time. The fuck? Man, I used to love some Keisha Cole back in the day, though. I think, I like, in this picture I got of Ashanti, man, like, that's that's probably not a good, the, one of her more flattering pictures. Um, yeah. But, Keisha Cole, yeah. Yeah. So before Keisha I got nabbed, you know, before I got nabbed up uh, for my last uh, bid, yeah, uh, I, I was, you know, I had a little joint that looked like Nick Keisha Cole. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> shout out to, um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, damn. Uh, well, man, I, damn, bro, I hate that. Ugh. Ashanti is yeah, aged well, sick. though. Oh man! Oh my gosh! Oh, she's delicious, my nigga. Like, <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh oh, and I guess we was we was supposed to. Uh, oh man, I ain't gonna do that other we ain't because we didn't pick no ver. What ver? I guess we were supposed to say what verses we would want to do. You know, I guess that was like the next one. But I'm gonna skip over that one, man. And did you hear the two J Cole uh, joints? Well, I was gonna say let's let's do Keisha Cole. Let's do Keisha Cole and Ashanti real quick, huh? I don't really know know their music to. Like, right, I would let, I would have to songs. hear a little bit. I would have to hear a little bit of their songs though. Like I don't know any of their songs by oh, heart. Okay, okay, you right, you right, you right, you right. You right. know, like, like once I hear a little bit, I'm like, oh, that's that joint. You know, but it ain't yeah, like. Uh, you know, like, next like, week. 
That would be dope. Yo, yeah, yeah. Tell people to put a post up. Sorry, cut. Tell people to put a post up. You know what I'm saying? We get a post going, and then we do our own little pick, like five, ten songs, and we just talk about it. You know what I'm saying? Talk about them as a group. You know how we do. Yeah, well, nobody pays attention to me, so but J Cole, <laughs> the two songs that you sent, uh, what is that? Living King on Ice. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't read my own damn writing. Leon King. <laughs> Leon King. <laughs> you know what the hell I meant, man. Lion King on Ice was fire. Like, that to me was classic J. Cole. The other joint was, eh, it was okay. You know, it wasn't. J. Cole was fire, bro. J. Cole is fire. But the first joint, and I'm trying to uh, see where that post is. The first joint was okay. It was nothing like uh, the climb back. It was okay. You know, but the Lion King on ice was fire. So I ain't dissing yeah. the other one, but, you know, it, it's levels to this shit. One with more on that fire. Level. Yeah. <laughs> Extremely. And not even close. You know, um... Now, who was that? Oh, uh, damn, I thought I had Drake in this motherfucker. Because that new song that he got out is trash. That's your man. Look, bro, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> that shit is trash. This shit is trash, man. I, there's no defending that. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, I get using the uh, the UK beats. I get that because they got some fire. That that shit's fire, but that yeah, drill beats to be hard. The fucking accent and oh my god, man, just fucking go away with that shit, bro. You know, like just I don't know who the other caddy is. Is that Hetty One? Is that his name? I guess it's Hetty yeah, One featuring like Drake. I don't like his name, so I don't even. Yeah, that's a nah. pause. That's a pause worthy. Like every time you say that dude's name, that's that's a pause. Uh, but like you didn't even get like uh, what's the what's the, the it, it, it's a couple of bigger dudes than that dude if you're gonna go to London and shit. Like uh, I, I forget dude's name, but it's one dude. He get like 40, 50 million views every time. Um, and he been doing it for a minute. Yeah. You know, um. So I think it's trash. I mean, it's I'm not trash, gonna say I like it. Let me give I'm not gonna say I like it. But um, I'm gonna say that uh, I like UK drip. You know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, yeah. Just long as Drake I, is nowhere yeah, near yeah. this shit, it's fucking horrible. Yeah, that nigga was going crazy. Uh, hold on. And I didn't, I didn't even know that he did. Like, I couldn't stomach the song long enough to listen to whether he I, dissed somebody yo, I, or some shit like that. I, I just couldn't, bro. Yeah, like I, yo, I don't like. I, I I don't like uh, like niggas like it works for one nigga and then everybody tries to do the same thing. Is that yeah. one nigga who will work for it don't work for everybody else? Yeah. Like, yeah, like that's my issue with Drake, bro. Because like he'll just jump on whatever. Like first he rap like the Migos, you know what I'm saying? Then it's like it's a different nigga every album. Like nah, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like nah, I sound like Nas. You know what I'm saying? He ain't have to sound like nobody else. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, but to be quite like honest, to be quite, it's work for Drake up until this song. Like it's, it's just like nobody's gonna bat a thousand. You know what I'm saying? This is just one of those times where hopefully he got it out of his system, realized it was trash, and moves on. Like, yeah. like I say, yo, the nigga was the nigga was Jamaican two years ago. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, well, it was. It was I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I just cut in, cut you a little bit. It was a diss yeah, track, nah, though, right? Wasn't it, he, didn't he throw a diss in there at the end? Yeah, well, yeah, it's kind of, supposed to be a kind of push your teeth diss or something, but I didn't even make it to the end, bro. Right, like, I, I don't know. Lot, right? uh, I'll take your word for it, nigga. I couldn't listen to it that long. Yeah, he said something about, uh, uh, um, like, I, I throw shots at you, you hide, by, hide behind somebody or something like that. Limited somewhere out there, but yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, bro. Let, let, let's move on from that one. That shit's fucking trash. <laughs> oh, uh, and Cookie is getting her own Empire spinoff. She really was the show anyway, you ask me. Yeah, she was. You know, and yes, I have watched the show. But, like, she was the downest woman in the history of the dope game. Period. Bar none. She did 20 years. She killed her yeah, sister's hey, boyfriend. My... Mm. She killed her sister? She killed her sister's boyfriend. Mm. See, I stopped watching that for a while. I did, too. You know, but... Oh. Um, like and I, I didn't. I never had uh, what was it? Showtime for Power. I don't know what channel it came on, but we never had that that channel. So I never watched Power. So Empire was was it. Um, but yeah, like she was, she deserves her own show. I just hope that it don't be so much about her kids. Like let her get into dumb shit by herself because they got tired of you know the same shit. One son is losing his mind. No disrespect to anybody out there currently losing their mind. Um, the one kid they they just stopped fucking with the 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 younger kid. Like I don't know. Like I guess his raps wasn't as dope anymore or something. <laughs> and then obviously Jesse Schmolay with the whole I, I, I beat myself up. And one son, the crazy son, he <laughs> about to die. But Lucius had another son by a white woman who ended up committing suicide. So the other crazy son ended up getting the heart, and then. Through the heart, he was being attacked by the son who killed himself. It, got, it was weird. Yeah, they 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 really got uh, soap opera. He was haunted by the shit. heart. It was crazy. I did not. I I remember him getting the heart. I didn't. Re- I didn't know uh, that that was his brother that gave him the heart. Wow, that's crazy. And I remember the white chick too. Like she was like, she was not nice. She was not nice at all, man. Um, and just random. Shout out to my nephew, man. I, I let him use my remote yesterday, and he turned it to this Dr. Pimple Popper shit. And that's the most disgusting fucking television program that shit is gross. in the history of gross. TV. I could not. Oh, my God. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I threw up about six or seven times. That shit's fucking horrible, man. They, they, how they put that on TV. And she she came up off of YouTube. Like, who does that? Who goes to school and says, I want to pop pimples for a living? And to be quite honest, like, I didn't even see her pop a pimple. All of these other shits was her cutting cysts off of people or whatever the fuck she called them. And they were fucking huge. Oh, my God. Yeah, this is gross. Oh. But then, like, you be really be thinking, like, yo, how the fuck can you, are these people, like, living like that? Actually, like, I can kind of understand that, man. Like, sometimes, like, well, shit. Well, you a nurse, yo, so you you do know. I mean, but I, I've let shit get out of hand myself, you know, ignoring shit. You're like, oh, well, you know, it, it won't get that bad. And then you look up, and the shit's past that bad. Yeah. And like their shit, a lot of those people that went on the show, it was all about the money. They couldn't afford to get the shit fixed because it was technically cosmetic surgery. Ah, uh, okay. All right. You know, like they had like this one dude, she he had like this it was a brother too. He had a huge like thing on his back and she drained 33, 30 syringe, 30 cc syringe, syringes out of him. So, and, and hold on, I gotta do the math on that because that just it sounded confusing. Almost a thousand milliliters out of his back of fluid. Oh God! Yes, of straight fluid that looked just like piss, like like somebody just pissed in his back. For a year, like it was that bad. He said he had had it drained before, and it came right back. Oh God, that's gross. Yeah, I mean, like, and, and some of the shit, like he was like, it was affecting his ability to get jobs. 
you know, and it was killing people's, you know, it kills your, uh, your self-esteem. It was really fucked up, man. You know, it was just really disgusting seeing them do the shit. That, that was pretty fucking horrible. Uh, let me see. Oh, right. She popped it and he said he said he got it popped and came back. Yes. So basically he's gonna be on uh season three. <laughs> well, he didn't go to her and get it popped the first time. He had went to some other doctor and apparently she's like the expert in the history of ever of ever. Is, is this uh AJ calling back? Yes, sir. Oh shit, I my bad. It doesn't really tell me <laughs> if somebody drops off the call, I have to like look. Oh, no. it's all good. <laughs> um, and actually, man, we're gonna wrap it up a little early. I'm, a, I want to get up into this last topic though before we go. Um, Mike Tyson versus Roy Jones. Ah, oh man. Well, I said it all. You know, the beauty of this is it's a fight that was always like a hypothetical that no one ever thought that they would see. You know what I'm saying? But it's just a fantasy matchup. And um, the genius of Mike Tyson is he created his own league for the old heads only. So, big shout out to him for even coming up with the idea. It's fucking genius. And, um, I got $50 on Mike. Whoever wants to take him when the fight goes down, man. It's just straight up. Like, Roy, Roy is, is, Roy was great. Mike was great. Um, the difference is um, Roy's been knocked out on um, Roy got like nine losses. You know what I'm saying? Like, he got like knocked out by like a lumberjack nigga in Russia or something, man. Like the last fight he had. You know, so I I, I got Mike and it's just dopey the way that I just want to see it. Pause, pause, first off, but um, just look at like, like, what you said, look at the attacks. Tyson got a horse thick neck, so I think he gonna be he could take a hit better than uh, Roy. You know what I mean? Roy is his neck. You know what I mean? Tyson got that football neck play <laughs> neck. Uh, you know I, I ain't never heard that before, but okay. Uh, yeah, I think, I think this um, is the dumbest he, shit he, ever. He can be catch him like. <laughs> You know how much absolute, money them niggas is going to make, yo? You're is, crazy. Bruh, like, who the fuck wants to see two 50-year-olds fight? I can go to the I guarantee you. store and see that. And see a better I fight. I guarantee you. I guarantee you that that fight will make at least $50 million. Unfortunately, you are probably right because people are weird as fuck. And they don't want to see them fight. They want to see if they both survive. Like, come on, man. Like, I don't want to see a 50 year old athlete do anything. Training? In what other sport would you be okay with seeing 50 year olds play? Yo, it'd be different. It'd be different if um, it was a huge age gap and there was a young nigga fighting Mike Tyson. But the fact that they're both two complete legends that's close in age and they're, they're both in fighting shape. Nigga, why not? Like, I, like listen. How, how are you defining fighting shape, bro? Mike Tyson is fifty four years old, and Roy Jones is fifty one. Like, what? What's fighting you know, shape for them, bro? Bro, I, I I I do boxing, yo. Like, the niggas is in shape. Have you seen Mike Tyson for, training videos? They're in shape for fifty year olds. That's exactly what I'm saying. They're fighting. They're oh, both fighting a fifty year old. This is, so this you is make, embarrassing, it's an equal bro. playing ground. This is this is fucking two washed up boxers saying I still got it. I once scored four touchdowns at Polk High. Like, come on, man. Like, I think this is a bad, 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 bad idea. And it's what like happens saying, when one of them niggas get hurt? Nobody wants to see their grandfather do. getting hurt. What do you mean? Them niggas is grandfathers. grandfathers. No, they don't get hurt in a boxing ring. No, That's they get epic. hurt, period. Oh, my God. Listen, man. Listen, man. I, I, I see 50 old niggas fight every other night. Facts. <laughs> so, you know. And how, how entertaining I, is that? I, I would love to see some in shape. I mean, 
but they be drunk and all kind of addicts and all kind of shit. I don't need to see them. Other, I need to see them at their peak. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, I for one, I'm not watching this shit. I'm not paying no money. I don't give a fuck if it comes on TV free, man. I am not contributing to this goofy shit, bro. And I am a complete Mike Tyson fan, but and Roy Jones was the the first person I seen knock somebody out with a body shot. But this right here, this shit is dumb, bro. It's just absolutely it's not going to happen. It, oh my god! Like whoever idea this was, man, they they should put them in a nursing home right now. And just leave them there and never come back. No visitors, no nothing. You just be in the room by yourself for the rest of eternity. Because this shit was that fucking stupid to me. Anyway, y'all got any shout outs, man? Because I got I gotta, uh, I got a little something I need to do. Yeah, shout out to y'all. Um, shout out to y'all. Shout out to everybody listening. Shout out to everybody that's going to listen. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. That was dope. That's it. That's all you got. Shout out to my, shout out to uh, Michaela. Shout out to Michaela, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Come out here, free. All right, Ron, what you what you got? Yeah, man. Um, shout out Key Development. Shout out 300 Gangsters. Um, yo, shout out Team Melvin, man. We about to start vlogging on the uh, on the workout tip too, man. But, um. That's all I really got. You know, follow me on IG. That's driving for perfection underscore four three. Um, I'll have oh, it next week. We'll have another uh, dope show. I forgot though, bro. I forgot, man. We did not talk about uh, Tory Lanez and Meg Thee Stallion. Oh my God, I forgot to. Listen, Tory Lanez is a victim. Justice for Tory. <laughs> Hashtag. Was, how, how... <laughs> AKA quick. Quick. How is he a victim, man? The man is has a physical disability. He's five three and one hundred and twenty <laughs> pounds. He's built like a preteen. Like, we? What do you mean? Oh, okay, but we don't know what happened. Listen, from what's being reported online, she was in the car beating his ass. And this is a woman who's over six feet in heels. So he, so he was in the car. Justifying, like, no, don't get out the car. Don't run. Shoot a woman in the foot. Yo. Like, and I'm short, getting, man. Look, this nigga making, it, making us all look bad, bro. <laughs> That's disrespectful hey, listen, to my height range, bro. I'm a I'm a Tory Lane fan now for real. You know what I'm saying? Like I like like, like browse through his music. Like now nah, I'm a Tory Lane fan for real, bro. Like that nigga, that nigga, that nigga about listen. It's, it's one of two things. It's either like I said, it's either Mega Stallion, like the box is everything she say it is. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's either that. Or she just like a, a, a toxic chick who could rap. You know what I'm saying? They got the image. It's one of the two. I mean, I don't were they on a date or something? They was together. That's that's an odd looking couple. Like, I mean together, yeah, like the, yeah. like when you say together was like, you know, like like that's my I mean, lady but, but, together but, or like maybe they was going to the studio. No, like he's smashed. What ride? Look, think about it. What rides on top of a stallion? <laughs> <laughs> a little man. <laughs> Jockey. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Ease up on the short jokes, bro. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, I, I, although I am too tall to be, <laughs> to be a jockey. <laughs> Uh, like nigga can't get on no roller coasters. Like, what the fuck you mean? I mean, I don't think I can now, but I used to, you know. But now, since the whole heart situation, I think that's one. Of, although I'm scared to get on roller coasters now, anyway. I didn't got old man and got scared scared of heights. I don't know how. I just want to say that he did kind of warn. He did kind of warn her. And, 
when he was singing with Captain Nova. You know what I mean? <laughs> that song goes, and he's like, Shorty knows that she know I keep it on me. You know what I'm saying? Wow. <laughs> man, like, I just... That was fucking yeah. bad, man. Like, you you, you, you know, like... I Justin really wish we could get that... Uh, get the real story. And I don't know who would actually tell the real story. But, man, I really wish we could actually get the real story on that one. Because I'm so interested to know. Like, and I'm typically not... Like, I'm not a Meg Thee Stallion fan. Except for that Savage song. That Savage song is fucking fire. And shout out to Beyonce. Um, Not really a Tory Lanez fan at all. So typically this would not, you know, like it's odd that like she's like you say almost six feet, and he's five two, five three. <laughs> That's a, that, like she it looks like like I, back in my day, like I've, I've dated a woman that was taller than me, and and it looked like she was fucking walking me. It's just, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it felt, <laughs> she was uncomfortable, man. I'm not gonna lie, you know. Um, in certain scenarios, you know, like if y'all out and about, I personally, and I know somebody that, that, that his woman is a lot taller than him, and they love the shit. You know, I just, apparently, I, I didn't, I lacked the confidence at the time. I don't know what you want to call it, but it was like we couldn't leave the house. You know, I didn't even want to, you know, be standing next to her at the door. Like, I wanted her to, like, be further, you know, up so I could, it'd be an angle I'm looking up. Cause she's fucking tall, man. I don't know. It's probably probably 5'11". And I'm 5'5". Five, five and a half. That's a lot. Like, and he's shorter than I am. I don't know, bro. I don't know. Um, that, nigga, that nigga's a thugged out Gary Coleman ass nigga, man. I mean, <laughs> Gary, Gary Coleman built this nigga here. <laughs> Which is like, like, it just seems like it, I'm, yeah. it's just an odd, odd pairing. Anyway, man, I got to go, man. Um, <laughs> y'all stupid, bro. <laughs> Coleman was up there, though. I thought he was up there. <laughs> Uh, well, apparently, he, you know what? Don't shoot nobody, though, man, if you can avoid it. Get out the car. You got money, catch an Uber, call a cab. Like, it just ain't worth it. Um, but shout out to you, the jockey whip something. But. He may be both of those. <laughs> jockey whip. Um, and she may be the victim. I don't know. You know, I just think that it was just, oh my God, it's a bad situation for everybody. Um, and if she was beating him up, uh, man, that. Which actually I could see happening. Um, but man, she must have really been whooping his ass if that was the case. Like to make you want to shoot her, like that's you know. And, and I guess shout yeah, out to you for, for, for yeah, just yeah, just serious note. That's that's not called for. You know? Yeah, he could have. I mean, nah, you don't shoot no woman, man. You bug it for that. I'm, I, I'm I, hoping he didn't shoot her. I'm hoping he didn't shoot her. And from what I hear, like, he didn't shoot her until after she got off the car. What? Yeah. He shot in the foot. So that was that was definitely intentional. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely intentional. You know, that ain't no accident. And then you wait till she get out the car. Why you? If she was beating him up, you you know, like she had stopped beating him up. Now you don't have to shoot her. She's gone. The threat is gone. Close the door yeah, and keep it know. moving. I'm just saying, like, like, you know, you watch one too many Harlem Nights. Got excited. Anyway, uh, don't forget to uh, share the show, man. And I'm not sure who we got. If we got anybody coming up Thursday, what are we going to talk about? I don't know. Uh, we'll figure it out. Anyway, we'll be back Thursday at 7 p.m. right here on the same live streams on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter. Um, don't forget to check out the rest of the family, um, opinions and assholes, uh, queens just vibing, uh, self-love is my rehab, 
uh, uh, the Black Justice Initiative, and I know I'm probably saying that name wrong because I just keep wanting to call it the Black Justice Initiative. Uh, but shout out to the Queen Imani. Shout out to the family, liberationmindedmedia.com. You see it at the bottom of your screen. Make sure you go visit that site. It is imperative that you do so and that you do so expeditiously. I hit you with a little T.I. right quick. <laughs> anyway, um, other than that, man, uh, I think that's about it. Shout out to the fellas, man. Sean, Don, The Plug, and Brother Greg. Wherever you at, bruh. Peace to y'all. Y'all have a good one. You there? You there, AJ? Here. Is that a yeah? Yeah. Did you, you want to shout anybody out? Hey, yo, I'm out, out man. Peace. Right. <laughs> you good? Here. All right. We out. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>